Some things just don't compute, at least for some of us. It all depends on what algorithm you're using to calculate the cost-benefit ratios. For example, for me, it makes no sense that we even have something called waste to worry about, given that everything has value. And it especially does not compute for me that we would continue to tear up mountains and forests to get raw materials after thousands of years of civilization has already mined, extracted, and refined so much of the Earth's natural resources that we have been worried over the last century that we're going to run out. And this on a planet where almost all natural resources are actually still here, but have merely found their way into our crowded cities, making them actually easier to get than going out into some wilderness. And this on a planet filled with living systems and solar and geothermal powered cycles and lots and lots of underemployed people and machines that can be harnessed to create higher value, to create higher orders of negentropic accumulation than much of what we found in nature to begin with. Makes no sense to me. But for other folks, it makes no sense that anybody or anything would invest time or energy or dedicate machine time sorting through so-called garbage to remine, extract, and refine materials that are no longer considered useful because of the form that they are in. They say, nah, takes too much effort to recycle. They claim, look, we humans are actually lazy and can't be bothered to put our organic residuals in one place and our inorganic in another. It doesn't compute for me to unscrew bottle caps and put them in a separate bin from the plastic bottle, or to wash out my yogurt cup, or to separate the plastic forks, spoons, and knives from the napkins and cups when I take my tray to the trash rack in McDonald's. I'd rather let the world go to hell and complain about how awful it all is than lift a hand to keep different materials separate for recycling and composting. Different ways of looking at things for sure, right? What ties it all together? Labor. The time and effort and intelligence and energy we have to devote to consciously taking mixed materials whenever and wherever we find them and separating them and or refining them into distinct elements that can be remixed into useful combinations. Out at the mine, the oil field, the refinery, the low-wage laborers have already been trained and the machinery has all been developed and put in place and the profit margin secured through pricing. So of course, business as usual, mining new materials and manufacturing new items and tossing the old ones into a mixed garbage bin and depending on low wage workers to truck it out to a low cost landfill makes some kind of perverse economic sense. It's the way we've always done things. So business as usual seems to compute. Do you want to change it? Are you willing to put some time and muscle in? Take this water bottle. I spent a couple of days with a plastics recycling factory engineer from Columbia who specializes in water bottles and he told me it can get really expensive to recycle most bottles because they actually contain at least five different types of materials. First there's the PET or polyethylene terephthalate hydrocarbon that makes up the body of the bottle itself, a material which, by the way, contains the impurities diethylene glycol and acetaldehyde an endocrine disrupting chemical, and the toxic metal antimony, which is used as a catalyst in manufacture, bad things to leach into our water from a landfill. This can be, however, recycled into new PET, which is the best fate for a discarded bottle, but only if it's uncontaminated with other types of plastic or materials. You see, as the website Ban the Bottle reminds us, quote, in plastics recycling, resins must be separated before they can be processed because they have different melting points. So caps and rings are removed. The bottle is PET, or plastic number one, based on resin codes. The ring, high density polyethylene, HDPE, plastic number two, while the cap is typically made of polypropylene, PP, plastic number five. They must be separated, but that takes labor. And then there's the label which is usually made of a plastic laminated paper printed with inks that can be either, either water-based, solvent-based, UV-based, or soy-based. Some are toxic, some are not, but all need to be removed and separated for proper recycling. And then there's the liquid inside. If it's just water, it doesn't interfere with recycling, but if it contains solvents or dyes or, say, phosphoric acid found in Coca-Cola, one bad apple or one unrinsed bottle can spoil the whole batch. Yet almost nobody wants to take the time to clean and separate the bottle into components that can be binned. Do you? 
And so even though every part of this bottle is valuable and should be recycled, the industry reports that of the 50 billion plastic water bottles consumed by Americans in a year last year, the U.S.'s recycling rate for plastic is only 23%, which means 38 billion water bottles, more than $1 billion worth of plastic, are wasted each year. And that's just looking at something simple like separating the parts of a, of a bottle. In Colombia, meanwhile, they are winning awards for bottle recycling, and part of it has to do with the lower cost of labor in the recycling plant. The other part has to do with a cultural shift in awareness and municipal support, encouraging the consumer to separate before throwing things away. Either way, of course, labor is the common denominator. In this module, we explore the new game changer in labor costs, the use of actuator-enhanced computers in recycling. In other words, machine labor, the advent of artificial intelligence and robots applied to eliminating waste. What happens when low-cost machines become available that are so intelligent and so dexterous that they can repetitively, competitively, and cost-effectively take the things we've built apart and put each type of a material in a separate bin for recycling? Are robots the solution to the waste problem? Does that compute? Let's take a look and see.